It's time now for some real education. Frida Kahlo was a Mexican painter known for her many self-portraits, portraits, and works inspired by the nature and artifacts of Mexico. Inspired by the country's popular culture, she employed a naive folk art style to explore questions of identity, post-colonialism, gender, class, and race in Mexican society. Kahlo has been described as a surrealist or a magical realist. She's known for her painting about her experience of chronic pain. She is a fascinating woman. Her politics are far too left for me and the the farther in her career you go the more her paintings are in, that socialism imposes over them but this is actually her first real self portrait she did a lot of them take a look at the image it's a beautiful image actually uh, it's a um, example there's nothing political about this she's a young woman in the prime of life of a beautiful young woman she is obviously painting somewhat abstractly and as a matter of fact it's obvious that what she's doing here is she's doing her own version of Botticelli's The Birth of Venus. You may remember that very famous Renaissance painting of uh, Venus being born out of a clamshell with the same kind of rollicking waves behind her. But this is a, that's a very light and airy picture. This is a dark and somber one. It's a very serious young woman. As a matter of fact, she painted this portrait for a young boyfriend, a young boy she was in love with, who had just dumped her as a way to try to get him back. So again, this is Frida Kahlo's first self-portrait, it was painted as a, a gift for her student boyfriend, Alejandro Gomez Arias, who had left her. It was given as a token of love by which she hoped to restore his affection and keep her in his thoughts. Her plea for his love worked, and not long after Alejandro received the portrait, they were t back together. But the, the, the aristocratic pose here that she takes uh, in the painting is a mimicking of the Renaissance period I already mentioned, the, the Botticelli's birth, verse, uh, birth of Venus. Also a painting, by the way, that Alejandro admired. The same style would later appear in her portrait of Alicia Gallant in 1927. Frida began this self-portrait in the summer of 1926, sent it to Alejandro in late September, and on the back of the painting, she inscribed it as a dedication for Alex, Frida Kahlo, at the age of 17, September 26. Beautiful work for a 17-year-old. Turns out that they, the, 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 the aristocratic nature of the a young man's parents would drive them apart. They never would be, wouldn't re uh, be a couple for very long. And Kylo's work would become much more politically infused and much more radical as she went forward. But it's a good, it's one of the few paintings that uh, modern art historians don't pay much attention to because it's not radically pro-Marxist. It's just also, I think, really why I like it. It's, it's before she gets too mired up in politics.